Five people gone way too soon. Today we are learning more about the victims killed at Club Q in Colorado Springs on Saturday night. Kelly Loving, Richard Vance, Ashley Pugh, Daniel Aston, Derek Rump. 17 other people were also shot. Police are saying two people, Rich Fierro and Thomas James, stepped in and stopped the shooter. They are heroes. Nine News reporter John Glasgow joins us live from outside Club Q. John, without these two men, more people might have lost their lives. Absolutely, and if not for Richard Fierro, a retired Army veteran who says that he went into combat mode. He didn't think all that it was going through his mind was protect his family and protect everybody in the bar. If he had not done that, is expected that more people would have lost their lives. So Richard, he was at the club queue with his wife, daughter, and his daughter's boyfriend. They were dancing when a man wearing armor started shooting. Fierro says he ran over to the gunman, knocked him to the floor, took his gun, and started beating him with it. He says that others rushed over to help, including one of the performers. He can't remember if the gunman said anything. His only focus was on protecting the people inside. 17 people were shot and injured. Five people did not survive. One of the victims was his daughter's boyfriend. Raymond Breen Vance. I just know I got into mode and I needed to save my family. And that family was, at that time, everybody in that room. Um, and that's what I, I, I was trained to do. I wish I could have done more, okay? But those people aren't home tonight. I am. And I'm, and I'm really upset by that. That's not something I'm proud of. This very powerful words there from Fierro. He also says that uh, his daughter and his two friends were injured in the whole chaotic scene of the shooting. He also says that when the Colorado Springs uh, Police Department arrived on scene that they did uh, detain him for a short brief time. And he says that was because of that they weren't sure of the threat at that moment. Now he did say that he understands that, that he doesn't have any hard feelings towards the police. Uh, he says that this has been a moment that uh, it felt like war, that he was going back into combat when this all unfolded in front of him. And he says he would do it all over again. Uh, the Colorado Springs mayor also saying that uh, that uh, Fierro is one of the most humble heroes that he's ever met. He didn't take any credit for doing what he had to do on the night of the shooting. Yeah, I know we've been trying to get in touch with the other person that's being hailed a hero here, but thank goodness this man was there. Yeah, and uh, thank goodness uh, he uh, had experience and knew what he was doing and uh, did it. That's for sure. John, thank you.